Okay, so I want to talk to you about uh, using Animate CC. So to begin, first I want to show you sort of maybe where we might end up leaving off at the end of doing this. There are some different ways that you could look at doing this, um, but this is just one of them. Okay, so right now what you're looking at is uh, a web page that is um, playing a, an Animate file um, that is that was rendered out as a Swift file or a SWF file. You could also put it in an HTML wrapper as well. But anyway, um, so you can see here it's got some interactivity, right? So this front front page has a, a video of grass sort of like lightly blowing in the wind. So if we click on this, what it'll take you. Let me turn this down. Okay, so what you what you've got here is uh, basically sort of like a, a card um, and this is not like the greatest design necessarily it's just something that we could put together pretty quickly um, there could be a lot more that you could do with this but uh, if you're working in groups in fact let me just pause this um, thing is is if you're working in groups um, you might want to try to figure out some kind of consistency so that you have an interface that you know, you can navigate and it's not going to jump all over the place and look like completely different stuff, you know, like totally different people did <clears throat> all the work and then just sort of threw it together. You want it to be consistent in some way. So if you look at this, what we've got, um, each one of these things, if we, you know, go ahead and keep playing this, um, and you can see that each one is going to end up having a component on the right here uh, where the video is currently playing. And, uh, and then if you looked over here on the left, it has the name of the piece, right? And then there's like a little headshot and then a byline. Um, and here, I'll stop that again. And then we've got some other navigation options. Okay, and you'll notice that on that front page, we had three different color sections and uh, they corresponded with each one of these videos. So, you know, if you've got a group of five or six people, then you're gonna have more to deal with than this. But, so if we look at, uh, clicking here, for instance, something I find in everything. And let's turn that down again. Okay, and so we've got this video, and this would ideally be in a group project. This would ideally ideally be something where everybody would have a different picture and a different byline, right? And then you finally could go to this last one. Um, and you can see, all right, so, uh, and I, I could also have put some sort of navigation that would take me back to the, the home page. Um, uh, this doesn't have it right now, but anyway, so I just wanted to kind of show you that. Let's go ahead and get out of this. And then you can also see some, some other ways that it might look like if I were to open this up in an HTML wrapper. And I in this one, I made the background color blue so you could kind of see what was happening, right? And this is going full screen. And uh, if I wanted to come up here, I could get out of full view. So exit full screen. Okay, and then you can also see that I can resize the Swift too. All right, so that works in both, but I, I did make the background color a different color so you could kind of see what was happening. Anyway, so that's kind of like, you know, one of the ways that you could look at this is that as a group, you would come up with something that would be uh, an interface where um, all of you contribute in some way, either through typography design, collection of materials, whatever, um, <clears throat> to create this interface that's gonna make uh, a unifying entrance to this to this uh, presentation, right? Um, but whenever you go to your uh, individual pieces, you want some consistency, What's for instance, mean? right? You want some consistency. So um, that's really up to you. Uh, you guys could do it a little differently if you wanted, but um, in terms of UI interface design, it's gonna make a lot more sense if there is consistency so that people sort of know how to use the tool and know what to expect.